Okay, so right here, we're looking at the complete EF pedal assembly. You have your throttle, your brake, and the clutch. And the EF, we all know, is cable, cable clutch. So the cable mechanism on this end would go right here. And the EK, we all know, is hydro. So in order to go hydro and an EF, yeah, there's a cable kits you can buy, yada yada, but I want to go full hydro. And there's already a write-up, like a video on YouTube about it. It's kind of where I got the idea from. Uh, if I can find it, I will credit um, the user. I'll credit his channel, put a link to the video. Basically, um, he builds a bracket out and with the clutch master cylinder mounted under the dash, drills a hole right here for uh, the pin and all the, for the pedal assembly to work basically it's it's all hooked up reverse you know it still does the same job but like i said if i can find the video i will credit the guy um there's a very interesting write-up he was doing it in a race car if i remember right uh this is gonna be a street car so it's gonna be full dash full everything you know um but i'll just i'll just be sure to hide everything i'm already doing a lot of tucking and everything anyways so We'll see how it goes. See about getting all this taken apart so I can clean all this up, get all this rust off anyways. Just give me something to work with. All right. So here it is. Tore it all apart. Gave it a quick sandblast and just kind of clean it up a little bit. It's not 100% perfect, but it's way better than it was. And nothing that's some navel jelly and some spray paint won't fix up when I'm done. However, it is time now to see about building my bracket for the clutch master cylinder to sit. All right, so there it is. Got the clevis pinhole drilled, you can see right there is where the cable went but the clutch master cylinder has a clevis pin it's going to go right in that hole right there that i had to make i did utilize the bushing so this little plastic bushing out of the ek pedal so got that part down Time to make this bracket. Here we are. Got some of this plate steel right here that I'm going to use to make my bracket. It's basically going to utilize this nut. Probably have another bolt hole to help sturdy everything up somewhere. There's a lot of designs I've been seeing online. Like people already make this, but I'm just going to make my own because I can probably utilize some um, some cardboard right here as my template and just go from that weld me something up throw a gusset in there we'll see how it goes okay right here I've removed the nut that holds the brake pedal bolt pin if you will into place that's actually going to be one of the fasteners i use to hold this bracket in place i'm going to drill a hole right here and again that's just going to give me some extra stability you know two points of contact is better than one everybody knows that um with the bracket that i'm making so far my template my template's looking about like this not too bad not too bad 
So let's get this hole drilled so we'll know where to make it in the template. And let's go from there. treat my bare metal with some kind of paint. Plus, in doing so, I know it might be a little hard to see, but I left myself a little something here so I'll know where my hole comes to. Once again, using cardboard, you know, I'm able to make changes on the fly. Uh, the original crease was here. And I'm thinking I just made it here, just kind of moved it up about a half inch, give me a little more room back this way. So we'll see how everything goes. There. little hump right here it's kind of getting in my way so I'm gonna, I'm gonna polish it down see what I can do to flatten this whole surface out but I gotta get rid of this for sure it's uh it's holding me off this is all pretty well flat so I'd say getting this flattened out to keep my bracket right now what's happening it's holding my bracket off just slightly and again I want more surface area I do have this, I could just put a washer in here in between my, my bracket and uh, this brake piece, but I don't wanna have to do all that. I'm just gonna uh, try to flatten this down some. That way when I put a bolt in here, it'll just smash up real nice and, and we can go from there. Other than that, everything's looking pretty good. Kinda show you a little bit about what I got going on here. all sitting like it's supposed to uh, clutch master cylinder looks like it's gonna be right in line with that pedal assembly it's looking pretty good so far I'm pretty happy with it like I said if you can look maybe you can see it's just it's holding me off that much right there so Let's do something about that. Just kind of ground that off, being real easy not to go too far. Now I'm just going to polish it out with my buffing wheel. Flat disc does a really good job of just polishing everything out and cleaning it up. Here's the gusset that I cut out of a piece of angle iron for this. And it may be overkill. I really don't care. I'm, I'm all about that. I'd rather over engineer something than, than you know, just half-heartedly go into something. So this way I know it's at least going to be all right. But let's uh, put some tack welds on this, see what it looks like. Yeah, not bad. Some quick tack welds just kind of hold it in place. Like I said, I just want to test fit this, see how it's going to do. 
everything looks like it's going to line up pretty good and and uh this piece right here is not going to get in my way then i'll say let's run with this paint it up paint the uh the bracket up bolt it all up So I just got some black spray paint thrown on some of that. Finished up the welding. Like I said, threw a little bit of black spray paint on it. Uh, threw a little bit on the pedal assembly itself too. You buy something from one of these companies like Rock Auto or a place like that. Uh, it's just gonna be some real quick spray paint that they throw on whatever part you purchase. So with me doing this, it's really no different than buying it from a company like that. Um, but I'm really happy with how everything turned out. So while the paint's drying, I'm gonna work on building my clevis pin. Uh, I could just order one, buy one, or go to the local like you pull it, but there's really nothing to it. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I build those. What you're gonna wanna do is you wanna get yourself, if you're going this route, uh, you know, you may not ever have to do this, but it's, it's pretty nice to know information, I reckon. Um, you wanna get yourself a bolt that's not threaded all the way up just because you don't want to have to deal with this part you want this shoulder right here you want that and uh, this being metric and um, a metric hole it's a nice tight fit you know not too tight but look I mean so what you what you get is you get that right there could I spread those out yeah but yeah Let's not worry about that part. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take our grinder, we're gonna just shave this down just enough so it fits up in there tightly and it's gonna fall into that little space. So once that's done, we're gonna come out this way and we're gonna, we're gonna, we want a slight taper, similar to that. We want just a slight taper, just to kind of help uh, guide it into place when we're putting everything into place. Um, because, you know, you've got your pedal here. It's got a hole with the uh, bushing. We just want to, like, an easy slide through. Um, we'll come this side of the bolt once it's cut off and we get our little taper and everything. And uh, we're going to put a tiny hole just enough, just big enough for our little uh, cotter pin. And the cotter pin just acts as a keeper. Keeps everything in place. Keeps us from, like, just vibrating out, trying to, you know while you're driving down the road whatever but yeah uh it's it's fairly simple it's a uh, it's not too difficult but let's get on it Ow. Put a little chamfer on this like a little um, bevel if you will at, at the very very end um again it, it helps not only deburr what we just did but it does help with the installation you know sliding it in there um and and how i'm holding it with these locking pliers i'm gonna i'm gonna basically run this up on my grinder and just kind of spin it around you know There she is. Got a little chamfer on there. It's not perfect by no means, but you know, it is what it is. Cotter pin inside the clevis pin. We'll see about putting the whole assembly back together. Might give a might give that paint just a few more minutes to finish curing. 
And then, uh, like I said, I just want to see it all put together finally, see what we're working with. Got it bolted up with my extra bolt hole that I made there. Utilized the nut that went to the original uh, brake pedal. Gusset, it. again, that may be overkill, but and we'll see what it's like when I finally bolt it up to the firewall. But I'm glad I got this part done. Don't know how good I really did till we get it bolted up in the car. That'd be a video for a whole nother day. Till next time, I'll see y'all.